Well, good afternoon, everyone in YouTube and around the world. I have a couple of special saws here from a new friend of mine named Sean Wilson. He lives up uh, Christina Lake area, and he's going to come and visit me and pick these saws up. These saws got a bit of history. The 372 he actually got when he bought his home up in Christina Lake. Bonus, man. He the guy left him a brand new 372. That's just a great gift. His 346, though, has got quite a story. Years ago, uh, Sean is originally from Ireland, and he used to do firewood over in Ireland to help his family and his mom with their with their wood, obviously, for the year. Uh, he had a little 335 or 338 Husky. You know, that's like a topping saw or a rehandle handle one, if they had made it that, that type in, in Europe, and it burnt up. So uh, when he'd go back to Ireland, his mom, uh, for a Christmas present, bought him a brand new 346 so they can get their family wood in again. And unfortunately, uh, his poor mother passed away. I'm really to hear, sorry to hear that, Sean. Um, so Sean decided to bring this saw uh, back to Canada where he's moved to here. And he took it all apart because you weren't allowed to bring a saw on the plane. So he took it all apart in boxes. He got to Edmonton to the airport and uh, Edmonton, Alberta and it sat there for a while or uh, quite, quite a while and he finally got it back through the customs or a friend there and uh, put it back together but it wasn't quite working right so he sent me both these saws to walk rise i've done them both now the 346 is awesome it was in great shape same with the 372 like new condition both of them were i fixed the oiler on the 346 for him and ported it and dual piped it and uh it's all set up now I'm running an 18 inch 325 chain on it and the 372 i got a 24 inch um a full house chisel chain on it chisel ground pre-ground from still so i'm going to test the 346 right now but i, I kind of just wanted to talk a little bit about rpm too on these saws this one has a 14,100 rev limiter but i've set it at 14,000. i think that's perfect uh, the 372 has got the unlimited coil. I set that at 14.2, um, 14.3. Uh, 14, um, I just want to explain that too about RPM on these 372s with the air injection system, like other Huskies. So I see some guys putting holes in their covers. Wrong thing to do. When this cover is off, it revs at about 13,800. When the cover is on, it revs more at 14. 214.3 and that's because the air injection is giving that carburetor some forced air and gives it more power so don't be drilling holes in your covers it's a waste of time and you'll lose power and your filter gets clogged up more it's designed that way the engineers aren't stupid they spent millions of dollars developing these saws so let's give this little 346 a run now and yes mom i have all my safety equipment on today hearing protection eye protection leg protection let's give her a whirl check out the 346 they say you're a lucky man you got the wicked 372 this 346 two of the best saws in their classes ever made 
Love them both. They're my favorite saws. Have a great day, Sean Wilson. We'll see you soon. He also flies an airplane. His dog flies with him as a co-pilot. It was so cool. He showed me a picture the other day. So uh, maybe you can take me for a ride someday, buddy. I'll have to come up there fishing. Keep your saw on the way, stick your nice rubbing the road, and your plane will fly in. Bye now.